Today, I bring you the story of the murder, rape, and cover-up of Private Lavina Lynn Johnson. Welcome to Crimes Among Us. Lavina Lynn Johnson grew up with such admiration and respect for her father as most little girls do towards dad. Dads love their little girls. So she felt like she should follow in his footsteps. So what did dad do when he graduated high school? He joined the military. So she followed. She did the same exact thing. But because of what was going on that year in 2005, she went to Iraq. That's where she got deployed to. But she would find time to call home every day. She would talk to them. She was so excited of the possibility that she would get a chance to come home for Christmas. So she told them when they put up that tree, do not touch the tree. I want to help put those decorations on. And they were very excited about this, the chance to see their baby. July 19th, 2005, in Florescent, Missouri, the doorbell rang at the Johnson's house. As they opened the door, a soldier stood there. He tells them that their baby girl had died. To make things worse, they tell them she had taken her own life. Missouri, uh, he told me that uh, Lavina was found dead in her barracks with a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, I know a lot of people, and I know people who knew people over there. So we had a friend of ours that was a police officer. So he immediately emailed a friend of his that was there and asked where she was found. And that friend emailed him back and said that Lavina was found dead in a contractor's tent. Uh, my friend was so distraught over it, he was on his way over to our house and he had a heart attack. He didn't die, but uh, it, was, it was severe. Uh, then the next day, I had a relative that brought me a message. And that message, in essence, said that Lavina knew some people who were near DFAS 2, and that's where her body was found, in a contractor's tent. So uh, it wasn't until, uh, so I was told it was a gunshot wound to the head, and the casualty liaison told me that. And when her body got here, I looked her body over, and uh, I saw a hole on the left side of her head near the temporal lobe. And so I went to the news media the next day, and I said, uh, they said my daughter shot herself in the head. Uh, she's right-handed, and the bullet hole was on the left side of her head.